wrapping in today, we are going to be making gluten-free thumbprint cookies. Mmm, yum yum. So we're going to start with two and a half cups of almond flour in a mixing bowl. And we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix the two, uh, the, the dry things together here with a whisk. Okay, and now we're going to set this aside and we are going to use, I'm, I'm using the stand mixer, but if you have a handheld mixer that works fine as well. I have one egg in my mixing bowl and I am adding a quarter cup of monk fruit, my preferred sweetener. Um, you may not like monk fruit, I don't know. Um, you could use some coconut sugar if you must. You could use regular sugar, yes. Um, and so then I'm also going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a quarter of a cup of um, melted coconut oil. And I am going to put this on the mixer and mix it up. Okay, you can see that is well mixed in there, maybe not, kind of, okay, and now we're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, and we will mix until combined on one is fine. dough is done. You can see the um, dough is kind of all stuck together, kind of moldable. We are going to take our baking sheet lined with parchment paper and about Oh, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of dough, roll it in a ball, and then push it down a little bit with your hand to flatten it some, and then take your thumb and just make a little well in your, in your cookie, because we are then going to put a dab of uh, jam in. I am using an all fruit um, spread. Mine's strawberry. That's what I had in the cupboard. But you use whatever you have. Um, preferably something with no added sugar. Just an all fruit um, spread. And you, you don't need much. Um, I'd say I'm using maybe an eighth or a quarter of a spoonful and I'm just going to put that inside the cookie. Inside the little well that we made and then that will bake in the oven. So I will um, fill my tray and give you a look. the cookie dough ready to go in the oven uh, at least one tray worth um, it's again it's lined with parchment paper you could use um, a silicone mat if um, that is something you're comfortable using I have the oven set at 350 degrees my pan is a stone pan so I'm going to bake it for 12 minutes 
Uh, we want the cookies to be firm and slightly golden around the edges. And if you're using metal pans, you probably will bake them about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll pop this in the oven and set the timer. It's been 12 minutes and let's check the cookies and see if they are done. Oh, they look very nice. They're slightly golden around the edge and they're, they look, yep, they're firm to the touch. So you can now take them off of your cookie sheet and put them on a cooling rack or you could let them cool for a few minutes on the cookie sheet, if you need them to, it would be fine. Um, and let them cool and then enjoy. All the cookies are done baking now and um, I think they're cool enough to try, shall we? Very yummy indeed. Thanks for stopping in today and I hope you enjoy your thumbprint cookies, gluten-free. Have a great day.